Americans have been hit hard by the coronavirus, especially here in Southern California. As Eyewitness News reporter Amy Powell reports, the increase has put many of the state's frontline health care workers at risk. Filipino Americans make up a quarter of California's Asian American population, but a new study shows the mortality rate for those who contract COVID-19 is a disturbing 40%. Filipino American healthcare workers are on the front lines in the battle against COVID-19. Melissa Rue, her parents, and her brother are all nurses at Cedar sinai Medical Center. It's hectic every day, and like the unknown is what's scary. While caregivers fight to save lives, the virus is taking a toll on the Filipino community. Many of us are healthcare workers, and um, what happens is that we're exposed to community-acquired uh, infections, and we bring it home to our families, our very vulnerable family members. The LA Times reports that of the 48 Filipino Americans in Southern California known to have been infected with COVID-19, 19 have died. So it's this perfect storm that kind of rendered Filipino Americans differentiated from other Asian American groups. We tend to congregate uh, from between immediate and extended families. We have multi-generational housing. Um, my mom lives with me. She's 91 years old. Many of those who died had diabetes and other pre-existing health issues. But USC professor Dr. Adrian De Leon says poverty, high-fat diets, and a lack of access to healthy food also contribute to the high mortality rate. I want to urge us to think more about the social fabric of economic and cultural and racial inequality as itself a pre-existing condition to the high rates of death along the Filipino-American community and certainly other marginalized communities as well. At Cedar sinai Peachy Hain and her co-workers take extra precautions every day because she says no one is exempt from the virus.